Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 107 of Road to 5 Million. And in this one, we're headed down to Eli, Nevada. Let's get into it. I think that's correct, Eli. Let me look. Yeah, it is. All right, folks. You know me. I'm going to level with you. Number one, look at the update to the paint job. Anybody see any differences? Number one, Chris updated it. It's in 16K. Uh, but we were looking at the fenders. He pointed out when he did the pister that he did black fenders with gray on the sides. And uh, I noticed the Kenworth was like that too, but this one, the glider and the 362 had gray fenders with black trim. I decided I like the black fenders with the gray trim better. Like as this rotates around, see how the fender now just kind of blends in with the... Yeah, anyway, sorry, getting sidetracked. So that's number one update. Number two, it's uh, 1146 Sunday night as I'm recording this. And some of you may be like, why the hell are you recording it so late? Well, I sat down about two and a half hours ago to record. And then I had a... Uh, message on the discord from Chris with a screen capture from an ATS Facebook group that had one moment please I gotta let the truck warm up uh, that had this trailer sitting in traffic the necktie gaming logo, the necktie part was gone, but the gaming part was still there. So same shape, everything. Uh, the shit show logistics was a different font on there with a different city, but other than that, everything was the same. And this individual was touting how he created this mod, and then of course everybody's like, "Oh, that's awesome! Shit show logistics. Where did that come from?" You know. So, hey, Train, how you doing? So, yeah, I've been dealing with that for the last two and a half hours. Uh, thankfully, the individual has apologized to both Chris and I in written form and tagged us in the group. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess, what do they say, that imitation is the best form of flattery or whatever? Uh, I guess, This mod's free, right? we don't charge for it and now it's on see how I actually checked to where I was this time oh by the way we're in Twin Falls because there wasn't a damn thing coming out of where the hell were we someplace in Oregon anyway there's a load to Twin Falls going down to uh, Eli Nevada which we haven't discovered and we're gonna pick up another city in Nevada as well I will show you the map when we get to the place I'm a little worked up still if you can probably not you know or have figured out I mean um so yeah our mod it, it's free right like all you have to do if you want to put your own company or fictitious company on the trailer or whatever you know how to do that fine hit me up on the discord on in my Facebook group whatever and ask I don't care and then this guy in his apology went on to uh and I could mention his name. I'm not going to. I mean, he's already... He realizes what he did and has apologized. Even in the group huts. I mean, so everybody in this group that has like 18,000 people had the, you know, chance of reading it, I guess. And he actually edited his uh, first post or his initial post basically saying that he stole it from us um we, i mean which i appreciate it still pisses me off though um i'm a nice like i was telling chris i'm a nice guy right i'm sure you can tell that by the videos i don't know some people may think i'm an asshole which i have been accused of that and okay fair enough but bottom line is i'm a nice i'm a nice guy i'm easy going i you know i joke about myself i make fun of myself I'm just that kind of individual. 
Uh, but nothing will piss me off quicker than messing with my family or crossing me. So, I mean, initially when Chris sent me that, I was like, well, we aren't, you know, we don't own it. There's nothing they can do. But, but when I saw the logo and all he did was basically cover necktie, but left the shape and left the gaming, I'm like, wait a minute. I own the rights to that. Lo I paid for the rights to that logo when I had it made. And then the blood started boiling. And I'm like, all right, I just can't let this slide. So I commented on two of his posts, I think. And then I made a post with the uh, first live stream we did on 1 January. Now his posts were like 18 January, right? So this episode comes out on the 31st. So basically it didn't even take a month for somebody to try and, you know, but I mean, come on, like, he even said he saw it in one of my videos. So you didn't think that I was going to find out somehow? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not trying to bash the guy. I, he, his apology seems sincere, so I'm going to go with that. And I'm sure it was. He realized he was a dumbass and, you know, it is what it is. But he mentioned that he hadn't used it on a stream or anything, which then got me thinking, I'm like, holy crap, dude, if you would have just asked, this could have been, I mean, right. not saying it would have been huge for both of us or either right. one of us, but it would have been kind of a cool collab, right? Turn I've been right. like, yeah, you can use your own logo. Take my logo off the back, put your logo, you can use the skin. And then just, I don't know, play like your lease to shit show logistics, that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like, it could have been a decent... Anyway. So, that's why I'm... Recording so damn late. Because I don't want to wait and do this recording in the morning. Because then I'm going to have to record... I hope I didn't cut this too damn tight. Huh. This is going to be interesting. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get out and look. And then I'm going to back up because I would have messed that up. Well, at least we can hear that DD-60 from the outside. Hey, thanks for stopping way back there. So we just need to do one of these numbers. I should have button hooked it. I wasn't thinking. And I went too far forward because I'm in this view. So we just need to do one of these numbers now. I mean, I could blame the whole thing that I just explained, but I mean, we know this is nothing new for the, the channel. God, that truck looks good though, doesn't it? Anyway, I digress. So yeah, that was, uh, that was basically it, but it got me thinking, like I'm in, Okay, now, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not trying to toot my horn or anything like that. I'm not that well connected in the community, first and foremost. However, I've met some people, okay, that who also know, but you see what I'm saying? That sort of thing. And a lot of these people have payware mods, right? Like Pizter. And then people bitch on how you have to get Pizzter's truck because you have to have a Facebook account. That's the only way you can get it. You have to direct message him, right? And then he goes through a verification. Like he does like a mini background check on your ass before you can buy the truck, right? And people bitch about that. But now I know why. Mine was free, right? I mean, I couldn't imagine doing all the work that he does and his team does and then to have it you know basically stolen from you and then people trying to you know play it off and and then some of these now this guy didn't do this so don't don't get the wrong idea but some people with these truck mods and stuff will do that 
and then they'll re-upload it for people to download like it was theirs. You know what I mean? Not that I didn't get that before, but I mean, I get it how they can be so pissed off. I mean, for them, it's a loss of revenue, right? Hmm. Hello, Paul. This episode's going swimmingly. Maybe I should have just waited to record in the morning. The sad part is I haven't even done a thumbnail yet either. Oh, and I guess I should have said that, yeah, obviously people have probably figured it out that we fast traveled here. And uh, I did a 34 hour reset. So it was noon. If this gives me it, I'm just going to take it because I feel like at this point it's not going to give it to me. Holy crap. I feel like at this point it's going to take me 30 minutes just to pick up this damn load. Oh, Lord. Anyway, that's why I'm I'm late. Now, I don't know. I mean, some good could come out of it because I've already had two people comment on that post that the admins approved to the group. So I don't know if I said that. So what I did. Oh, yeah, I did that I posted the video proof. Anyway, I've already had two people comment on that post and saying, I want, I want that. Where do I get it from? So I don't know. Maybe it'll drive traffic to the channel. I have no idea. If it does, great. If it doesn't, okay, that's fine too. What is this? Can't find a job and returning back empty. Oh, cost five hundred nineteen dollars. I probably do more damage to that to my front bumper in an episode. Um. Also, I think at the last end of, I'm freaking all over the place. I know. It shouldn't be surprising to anyone that's seen more than one of my videos. At the end of. 106 I was confused on where a driver went I'm even I'm even more bamboozled at this point because at the end of 105 I had hired drivers for Schulenberg right and then I was looking at the list up apparently Colorado Springs only had four drivers uh so, I don't know what happened. Maybe I only bought four. I can't. I'd have to go back in the episodes. I ain't got that kind of time, folks. Nor do I really care. I got 2.3 million in the bank, free and clear. I'll just do what I did, which we hired a new one. Which reminds me, I need to buy a new garage here soon. Probably won't be this episode because I'm kind of, you know. Yards. Turn left. We'll see how it goes. Turn left. Do I have my... Oh, I do. I was like, why does my GPS show that I'm not turning left? Because I had it in the wrong view. Shocking. Anyway, other than that, today went really well. Uh, live stream was pretty good for being the ninth one. Um, ended with... Was it... 10 concurrent viewers, and we topped at 16. I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, it was, I mean, it was fine. I, it's, I've only been live nine times, so I can't complain. Uh, and I think it had like 144 views, or maybe that was Saturdays. Which I don't know how all that crap works. I mean, yes, I know concurrent viewers is how many you have at one given time. But if there's 144 views on the damn thing. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, went good. And if you're catching a video for the first time. Because of the, uh, I don't know, whatever. 
however you find me, if this is your first time here, number number one, first and foremost, welcome. Go straight. Glad you're here. Hope you're enjoying the content. And if you are, consider subscribing. It's free. I don't charge a damn thing. I mean, and if nothing else, you can, you know, ring the bell too and get notified anytime my dumbass uploads a video so you can be like, oh, what is this idiot doing now? Kind of like right now, trying to shift with my range selector up. Going this slow. Yeah, it, it doesn't work. Uh, I sidetracked myself. Live stream. Yeah, live every Saturday and Sunday, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, doing European Truck Simulator with Chris, the a guy who's done all of these paint schemes. And we actually, hopefully, are possibly going to have a new truck for Saturday. If not, it'll be the following week. But I'm pretty sure Chris is hell-bent on getting it done for Saturday, which there's no timeline. He doesn't have to have it done for Saturday, but knowing him, he'll probably have it done for Saturday. And it's, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce the name of it, quite honestly. All I know is, is it's, it's old school, like old school. So I'm pretty excited. And it's free. It's a free truck. So hopefully he's checking it out now in game and stuff. Well, not like right now, but he's going through that process, making sure he has the templates and all that stuff and can find it, whatever, whatever he does. I just make videos and uh, that's kind of all I do well actually that's not all I do he'll send me photos and be like so how's this any changes and then I'll be like no I don't think so and then probably five minutes later I'll message him again and be like what would you think if we did this and then he's like, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so that's my input is I'm basically. Well, I guess, you know, going with this whole shit show logistics, right? And since he's from Poland, he's my president in my Europe, the shit show logistics European division. Which is also why he's in on the live streams. Plus, it's just fun. It's nice to have somebody After else to talk to, right? Yards, turn left. And he interacts with chat as well. So, uh, yeah, it's fun. But it's kind of like a company, right? I'm just like the CAO and I approve crap. Which I'm thankful for, because I don't have... I mean, like I said, I was... Oh, that's what we need to do. Okay. Mental note, Ty. Episode 108. Now, your therapist said you should start writing shit down, so I probably should do that. Anyway, episode 108, I need to... Uh, we may be starting in G35 in California with that Matt VT yard, because I did something that I'm proud of. And that's where my abilities end when it comes to this sort of thing. And for those that are like, oh, what did he do? Don't get your hopes up. So you remember when the whole shit show logistics start? Well, actually, that was episode one, right? When I named the company shit show logistics. But I don't know what episode it was that I did my rough decals on the side of the truck. 
which I think was with Arial Font, and yeah, that's my ability right there. But on Matt VT's yards, he gives you a file to edit something. And I managed to edit it. Go straight. And in my mind, it's kind of fantastic. And here's the beauty of it. Like, since I subscribed to his Patreon, uh, I get access to every one of his mods, right? Any one of his yards. And his yards are typically, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks a piece. And he's got quite a few of them. So, subscribing to his Patreon is basically the easiest way. Um, but... All of his yards come with that same file, right? Well, I only changed the one file, but I kept it in my mod order at the top above all the yards. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's every yard that I have in has that same thing done to it. So anyway, that'll be tomorrow. Hey, Ty, as you're editing this, write that down so you remember. Hey, that's a good way of doing it. See, look at that. It's like a personal assistant. <laughs> I'm going to be editing this tomorrow morning and be like, damn, that was a good idea. As long as I actually listen and write it down, it'll be a good idea. I can't believe... Maybe I need to do this. This will put me in a really good mood. Not that I'm in a bad mood. This is fun. I mean, it's... It's like you guys are my therapist, right? I can just talk about crap. You guys get to see how screwed up my head is. Oh, listen here, Volvo. You are not going to pass this girl. Especially if we make it up into the top range here which we already are. Once she gets moving, she gone. Oh look, a turn, I should probably slow down. <sighs> Come on now, raise your hands, how many? Got a smile on their face. I know I did. Right. So yeah, did I update everybody on here? We got the whole mod debacle thing. Uh, which is now behind us. Go straight. Live streams. I can just be quiet the rest of the episode and you guys can listen to the truck. I should do that sometime. I don't even, I don't think I could make a whole episode, honestly. I probably could, but for some reason I feel like I need to talk. Now it'd be different if I just made videos where I never talked, right? Then it wouldn't be that big a deal, but... Am I speeding? No, I'm not even going to speed on What the hell? Okay, Pascal. That will be enough of that shit coming back empty, costing $3,000. This, 
This motor combo and gear ratio is so fun to drive. Like I'm in seven low. Going 61. There we go, seven high. Excuse me, sir, ma'am, I can't really tell. I'm guessing a sir by the haircut, but I don't know. Not here to judge, just wondering. Why are you going so damn slow? Oh, I think that Chevy truck's in the classic car pack, and those go slower. Oh, and we have to slow down to 45. Listen, you don't need to slam on your brakes. You're already going slow enough. Wow, dude, what happened? Maybe he's just resting. He looks like he just pulled over there to, I don't know, the water to the plants, maybe. Jackpot discovered. Okay. Put the splitter up and not blow the engine. There we go. Or not splitter, range selector. It's a gloomy, cloudy day. I guess I should have passed him. I'm already speeding though. I wonder if it'd be a good time to try this. Hey, we're in the Pacific time zone. time to try that. I don't know why I thought that would be a good time to try that on a curve. Oh, the other thing I did today. Remember that third monitor I told you all about that uh, I put up so I could read chat easier? Yeah, I got rid of that. Because just before the stream, I was telling Chris how I put my chat up on my top monitor. So I had OBS on the left hand side, chat in the center, and then Discord on the right. For those that don't know, it's a 49 inch super ultra wide, so you can, you got that real estate. But I said that I couldn't really read the chat that well because the font wasn't that big. And he's like, well, are you using the pop out chat from YouTube? And I was like, no, I'm using the chat box from OBS. He's like, do you have to use that? Nope, not at all. I tried the pop-out chat, but that's still the same thing. And he's like, you didn't know that you could hold down the control key and then use your scroll wheel on your mouse and it zooms in and out? What? Ladies and gentlemen, I was 49 years old. Someone who has an information technology degree that knows his way around a computer did not know that by holding down control on a web page and using your scroll wheel zooms in and out. That was the greatest thing ever. So yeah. I'm like, well now I don't need this third monitor. So I tore all that stuff down, which now is good. So now I can see my other monitor that's hooked to my Mac mini. It's kind of like my air quote office, but that's also where I edit videos. Um, so now I can see that and kind of monitor the stream from that aspect, even though I still have the stuff in OBS, but anyway, but then by doing that, I then had that, that keyboard tray 
that I bought for the rig that I now don't need, so now I have a third keyboard tray. I have a spare, I guess, in case I get, I don't know, something happens to one of these other ones. Which then meant I had a longer piece of the extruded aluminum. And I decided to move my mouse pad from beside me to in front of the shifter. It's a little more comfortable. It's not ideal, but holy crap, that was one hell of a process. And it really shouldn't have been. I was just trying to get it perfect because I'm really tired of adjusting crap on this rig. And this rig would be, which I think I maybe said in the other episode, this rig would be perfect. It's perfect if you're a sim racer, right? And you don't have a button box for a truck, that sort of thing. Or a shifter with an extension on it. Because the actual shifter thing that came with the rig is perfect. If you're driving a rally car or something like that for a shifter or for a handbrake, whatever. It's not so conducive for American Truck Simulator and a button box. So that's why I'm having issues on where to put the mouse deal pad. I know, first world problems. Why does my truck feel like it's leaning over? Was the road that slanted? I got nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Do I have my stability that low? No, I didn't mess with it. Okay, that's gotta be the road. That's freaky though. We do have 70, wait. Oh, that's ours. I was like, what? I thought we had 71,000 pounds. No, that's 71,500, oh, 71 million, 579, 435 hours to complete the load because it's an external contract. got 45,000 pounds of taters or potatoes or spuds. I mean, we did come, we did, we did leave Twin Falls, Idaho, right? Probably have some Idaho russets or something. driving a real truck, one of those will scare the crap out of you. Because by the time you see that it's that bad, it's too late to hit the brakes and you just gotta hold on. I've actually been lifted out of my seat before. to in real life, but Right. 
Amish furniture. That's under construction or abandoned. It appears abandoned. I bet you they have some really good food at that diner, though. that I put in this truck is more like a Midwest. It's not really a West. I mean, yeah, we have 45,000 pounds on her, but... She's not a hill climber. I think tomorrow there may be, yeah, if I start from G35, I may have, uh, if y'all remember, I think I said it, if I didn't, I guess you're finding out now that I, I may or may not have ordered a new truck for me. I may eventually put another driver in it, I don't know. I may just keep this one, but I may have to, I actually may have to find another garage just to put it somewhere because I don't think I have any slots open. Yeah, but we're going to do something, uh, something a little different coming up. I don't know if it'll be in the next episode or not. Hopefully it will be. it was marked. Maybe the other one was too and I just didn't pay attention. Which is not good driving a truck. Speed, that made me think of when I was doing my road training up in Gary, Indiana, my road trainer 
would uh, obviously we took there was like two of us in the truck I think two students in the truck and then him so one of us would sit in the sleeper while the other one drove for a while around town that sort of thing and he would literally as you, we would be having a conversation or whatnot driving you're trying to concentrate all this other crap he'd be like hey what did that sign say back there and you're like what sign there's like five of them he's like the sign that was on the right like what did it say I'll be like, I have no idea and he always says, he's like, you better start learning to pay attention and reading your signs. Because that may have said low bridge ahead or something like that. I'll never forget that. That was, what, 14 years ago now? Yeah, he used to, man, that was... So then, it got to the point where as you're driving, you would get so concentrated on looking at the signs, right? Just hoping you'd ask. And then the bastard never asked. I almost want to be like, hey, did you want to know all the signs that I saw in the last five minutes? I'll tell you. But he never asked. It was only when he could tell you weren't paying attention. Or looking around like you're supposed to. Like checking your mirrors, that sort of thing. Actually, thinking back, I learned a lot from that guy. And yes, for those of you that know, I got my license with Swift. It was before the whole FBI raid, all that crap. And got shut down their training school or some, I don't know, something happened anyway. It was before Go I went to their Millington, Tennessee school. And then since I lived in Illinois at the time, Gary, Indiana was my home terminal. So that's why I had to go up there for road training. But yeah, my road trainer, man. He was a good guy. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Actually, so was my second trainer. My Turn first left. trainer was a dumbass. He's the one that backed into a truck at a pilot. I wasn't with him at the time. It was actually in Arizona. I was with my uh, my brother and sister-in-law. I told him I was in Arizona, so they came and picked me up and we went out to eat, that sort of thing. So he was at the truck stop by himself, and when I got back, the cops were there. <laughs> yeah, so I was not on the truck with him maybe a day longer after that or something like that. I can't remember. I'm trying to remember if I got dropped off somewhere and had to Greyhound back home or if they actually got us a load back. Uh, but yeah, then my second trainer that that picked me up was an owner-operator. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, this is good. reached your destination. Oh, and we got to park over there. Okay, one moment, folks. And yes, I know I'm out in the uh, road, but I'm going to actually do what I do in real life, too. If I was, I wouldn't park in the road like this, but bear with me. I would actually get my ass out of the truck and go over here and assess the situation. Okay, so we do. Because I didn't know if I was going to have to pull over to the right and back all the way up, or if we had enough space to spin it around. Which we may not. Well, we're kind of... We'll be alright. Hey, how you doing, dude? Why do you keep changing shirts in the middle of the... Like, did your other one not smell good enough, or what? I should have enough space without snapping a cab extender off. He says confidently. <laughs> oh, we're close. Y'all want to see how close this is? Oh. Alright. My eyes were deceiving me. But we may get closer because I'm not going to be able to make this in one. 
I'm gonna have to jackknife it. It's not gonna get any better either. I wanna see how close this is. Oh, hell. All right, that's close. Okay. You know what I'm getting confused on? In real life, I'm used to driving normal wheelbase trucks, not these long wheelbases. So that's what's saving me from. If you would try that type of turn with a like a standard company wheelbase truck you're snapping your cab extenders off I can assure you may or may not have happened to me completely wasn't my wasn't totally my fault I mean yes I was driving but you know what? Let me let me pull forward before I screw this up from the get-go. I want to be here because I'm gonna have to need enough space to get back around. Yeah. So anyway, I was pulling into 3M at night to drop my empty in the yard, and it had just snowed quite a bit, so. The yard had the snowplow guys going with their uh, front front end loaders and all their big equipment, and I was turning to go to the part where we parked our Transport America trailers, and the loader started backing up from the snow pile, and I didn't know if he saw me because he was coming back at a clip, so I turned the wheel to miss him. And then I hit the brakes, and of course the truck slid because it was, you know, snowing or whatever, and I heard a crack sound. So I broke a couple of the brackets, is what happened. I didn't bust the actual extender itself, I just snapped a couple of brackets. I'm going to stop talking now so I can concentrate on this. Wrong way. I honestly don't know. I'm going to have a problem here. Alright. Let's just do this. Let's just get this damn thing back here. And then we'll figure it out. will assess the situation. Okay. So I need to come... I definitely need to cut it quicker. The problem is I don't have a lot of space to get my truck spun back around. So I need to hug kind of like that but now the problem is when I do this I can't my front end all right see and I'm staying in this view to show you guys what I'm kind of dealing with. Don't worry, I will get back in. All right, now see how it's coming around? This is kind of what they, well, it's not kind of, they call it an alley dock. So you're basically perpendicular to your spot. And this is literally what you have to do is basically jackknife it in there. And what's making it more difficult for me at the time being is the wheelbase of my truck is so damn long. 
So now you have to do this, and this trailer is going to continue to pivot, so I should have probably started sooner. And now I'm up on that. So I am still going to run into the problem of getting this truck spun around. I saw that Jacob, he came back empty, I'm not happy about it. All right. So we're good there, but, oh, okay, so I do have more space. I thought being on the curb was, all right. See, and this is why you get out and look as well, folks. I didn't realize I had that much space up there. How much more do I have now? Oh, we're good. Okay, so see what my trailer's gonna do? If I keep doing this, it's gonna run right into that building. So now I have to go forward and to the right like that and get both wheels up here. And now I gotta try and spin around once I put it in reverse and not hit that. That was close, but I already screwed it up. This may be okay if I can get it back here without hitting that. We're gonna be good right there. No, we're not. But what I may have to do is that. And now it's a lot of back and forth. Actually, it's not even gonna do it because these trailers aren't I'm getting pissed. Now it's going to hit the corner of the building. Yep. Still not ideal, but see how much more room we have? If I'd have done that just the first time, that would have been great. But see, now I can just keep coming back with it. And I'm gonna ride this back as far as it's gonna let me go and then kind of get back under it. But now we can sit and maneuver it over, which is still not fun, but. to me, but I'm not happy being that freaking crooked. Oh, are you... F seriously? Scuff the side of my freaking trailer?
And this is a difficult back, but I... You've heard me say before that 90% of backing is your setup, and I screwed the, uh, the initial setup up. Which then... screwed me up. Even more. But we eventually got it, so there's that. It's been a rough day, folks. Actually, it wasn't a really good day until I sat down to record, and then, you know, all hell broke loose, but other than that. Alright, flasher's off. Lights off. There we go, lights off. Let's get unloaded. Very nice. Alright, so for those, because I didn't show the map. So now we have, uh, that's the last one that we have to do. I need to figure out where I want to buy a garage, because we already have it. In Lake County. As I said in the other episode, because we relocated from Colorado Springs to this Matt BT yard. I have one in Schulenburg, another Matt BT yard. Actually, let's take a gander at where I have garages right now. So we have Tucson, Seattle, Elko, Abilene, Jordan, G35 is California, Schulenburg, Texas, Lake County is Colorado. All right, and we do have five and five. So I do have 40. I know I said I had 40 before. I'm going to look and figure out where... That was not the menu I wanted. Where? I want another one. Actually, we don't have any in Idaho. I can finally talk about this. Recon Lobster made this yard for uh, the Pizzter owners of the Pizzter 389, which Recon's also the guy that does Montana expansion. I'm going to purchase said garage in Idaho Falls. And then I'm going to upgrade said garage. Upgrade type. That's what you're going to do. All right, so we have Idaho Falls. Because, see, my truck on order that I have, I don't have a spot for it. So, number one, I need to figure out where I want to do that new operation out of. And uh, go from there. But we do have our ninth one now, so... Moving on up, folks. I could actually buy a tenth. Who knows, I may. Between now and the next episode. Just have to wait and see. I'm not sure. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 107 comes to an end. I was kind of all over the place there. My apologies. But if you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to drop a like on the way out. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.